Hi everyone. We're going to work with equations for circles. What I have right here is a circle graphed on a coordinate grid and that's why we have an equation for circles because it has x and y coordinates that it follows and we want to set up what that standard equation is. Now the goal here is just to kind of get a standard formula set. So what I want you to first of all look at, there's two characteristics that are real strong about circles. First of all, they have a certain location for their center. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So the coordinates of the center of this circle, in this particular circle, are at five, three. The other strong characteristic that a circle has is that constant radius, that constant distance that each point is from the center. In this case, one, two, three, four is five units. The radius for this circle is five. Now that is true of every single point is five units away from the center. So if I were to just pick some point on the circle, and not designate its coordinates necessarily. I'll just say x, y. I know that if I draw this line right here, that that is five units from there. Now with that, what I'd like to do is set up the distance formula. We know the distance is five. And let me write down the distance formula real quick in case we have forgotten it. x sub two minus x sub one squared plus y sub two minus y sub 1 squared, square root of all that. Well, I have a certain center. That center is 5. I'm going to call this my x2 and my y2 coordinates here. My distance is 5. I'm going to put 5 right there. And I'm going to for my x2, y2, I'm going to take those off and just call that x. I'm going to subtract the x coordinate here. I'm just finding this using the distance formula right here. x minus 5 squared plus, now the y2, I'll just use the y coordinate there, y minus 3 squared. Make sure you're seeing that radical. Now, with that, if I were to square both sides, I'd have 25 here, and the square root and the square would cancel each other out. So I'd have x minus 5 here squared plus y minus 3 squared. Now let me change the order. Let's write this part first. The x minus 5 squared and the y minus 3 squared is equal to 25. Now if you will notice, 25 is the radius to the second power, the 5 is the x-coordinate, the 3 is the y-coordinate, the 5 and 3 for the center. Now I'm going to take that and what you will see is that is true for all circles. So let's write the general equation now. equation for all circles. Okay, H is going to be the x-coordinate of the center. 
was our 5 in our prefix example. K is going to be the Y coordinate. The radius will raise to the second power. So that is the general form. That's the equation for all circles. We'll start with that and we'll build our lesson for that part. Now what I would like to do is maybe just get an example in. Let me start with an example. If I know that the center of a circle is at negative 2, 3, and the radius of that circle is 1, what is that equation? Well, let's go back to our general form. We're going to take x. We're going to subtract the x-coordinate, negative 2. We're going to square that. We're going to take y. We're going to subtract the y-coordinate. We're going to square that. We're going to take the 1 here, and we're going to raise that to the second power. Now, minus negative, that's kind of messy, so let's change that to plus. And 1 to the second power is 1. So there is an equation of a circle. Its center is at negative 2, 3. Negative 2, positive 3. Its radius is 1. Let me kind of put some points down here for the radius and try not to make this thing look like a diamond. So that would be the equation of this circle right here. My next example would be let's suppose we were asked to graph x minus 1 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 9. Seeing that all right? Well, let's get an x and y axis drawn here. We have to, first of all, what are the two key characteristics of a circle? That we know where its center is. In this case, it's x minus 1, so you kind of go opposite there. That's 1. y minus 4. The center is at 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. The center is right there. Now, this is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So r squared is 9. Take the square root and you'll get the radius is 3. Get this out of the way for a little bit. That was just to illustrate from the standard form. The radius is 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go 3 units on above, to the right, below, and to the left. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to try to draw a circle. It doesn't look like a diamond. It's, it's rougher to do for me when I have to hit specific points. That's adequate. But there's how you would graph that circle. Notice the one, two, three units for the radius. Know the center is at one, four. From this equation you can get all that information. I'm going to stop right there. We have to get more in depth with it. The algebra will get a little trickier, 
but we do have to cover more of that. We'll practice this for now.